Sisters Dishes, and today we're going to make another delicious, warming, comforting soup. It's one of my favorites. It's really easy. It's called creamy roasted potato soup, and we basically roast the vegetable first, and then we make them into this delicious, easy to prepare soup that you have to make as soon as you watch my video. Okay, so let me take you over the ingredients. We need uh, some potatoes, and I've chopped them up into you know, fairly equal pieces so that way they roast easily. I chopped up a medium onion as well, and I'm going to add it to here. We need some garlic cloves, and you know, if they were big, I'd put like six, but since these are small, I'm just going to put all of them. I have all the measurements on my blog, so please check that out. And we need a little bit of olive oil, about a quarter cup. That seems like about a quarter cup. Some salt and black pepper. It's okay if you under season because you could always adjust the seasoning afterwards once we start to cook it on the stove top. But if you over season, you really cannot take the seasoning out afterwards, so be careful with that. So we're gonna so that's all that's the only thing we're gonna season them with for now. And then later on we're gonna put some. Um, dried oregano, a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes, some cumin powder, a little more salt. We're going to need some heavy whipping cream and a little bit of water. You can use water or chicken stock. I'm just going to use plain old water and keep it vegetarian. My oven has been preheated to 425 degrees. I'm going to mix these all up and pop them in here in the oven and let these roast for about 30 to 40 minutes until they're nice and tender and roasted. And halfway through the cook, halfway through roasting time, I'm gonna go uh, take my tray out and sort of flip them over so they cook evenly on both sides. I'll show you what they look like as soon as they come out. All right, so the potatoes took about 35 minutes to roast, and this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. The garlic also got a beautiful roasted color. You see that? Okay, now it's very simple. We're just gonna puree these in a regular blender with some water. Now you can use chicken stock if you want, but it's an all potato soup, there's no meat in it, so why not keep it completely vegetarian and make it really simple. These potatoes and onions and garlic are going to give it so much flavor that you don't need chicken stock, but if you want to put it in there, go right ahead. I'm just going to use water, that's what I always use when I make this. I'm going to do this in about two batches. Take some potatoes, a little bit of water, so total you need about six to seven cups of water, half of it to puree and the rest we're going to add to the pot when we're cooking it. And you want to do half of the puree very smooth and the other half a little chunky to give it some texture. Check on that. That looks really good. This is really hot. Let me put it down. Put it in your pot. And then we're going to puree the rest. And this we're going to leave a little chunky. We're not going to do it completely smooth, okay? Where's the water? Here it is. That's good. Let me show you what it looks like. So let me show you the first batch. It's nice and smooth. It's almost like a potato puree. Look at that. And the second batch, you could even see through the blender that it still has a few chunks in there. I'm going to put it in here. Just add the rest of this water to get whatever potatoes are left down here out. Already it's smelling so good. We're going to turn the heat on high and bring this up slowly to a boil. Now while that's happening, I know that it needs more seasoning. So I'm going to add a little bit more salt. Potatoes really eat up all that salt and you, 
need heavy, you need to season heavy with salt when you're making potatoes unless you're putting lemon in it. I'm going to put a tiny bit of cumin powder, just a little for some extra warmth. Of course, spicy red pepper flakes, I love these. If you don't like them, leave them out, but I like a little spice in my food. Black pepper adds a little spice too, but a different kind of flavor. And then I have some homegrown dried oregano over here. Put that in here too. It smells so good. You can use any dried oregano that you have. And if you prefer parsley, go ahead and put parsley in here. That's fine. I'm going to keep mixing this and let it come to a boil. I'm going to wash my hands and show you what it looks like in just a few minutes. See how it is? It has a lot of texture. And at the same time, it's nice and velvety and smooth. So pretty. Have a bowl of this on a cold day and it'll really warm you up. And it's not too heavy. We're just going to add a tiny bit of cream to this at the end to make it a little more silky. And if you really want to jazz it up, put some Parmesan cheese in it. At this point, I'm going to taste it for seasoning and see if it needs a little more salt. And it does. I'm going to add a tiny bit more salt. All right, so it's right about ready to come to a boil. I'm going to switch out with my ladle. You see how it's thickened up, but it's still, it's like soup. It's not like a mashed potato. You don't want it to be so thick that it's coating your spoon exactly, completely. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to add about a cup of heavy whipping cream. And just mix it all around and stir it. It's going to give it some real nice richness. Let me taste it for the seasoning and then I'll show you what it looks like. <clears throat> Let me taste the seasoning again. It tastes really, really good. Gives me another reason to try this. It's so good. It's sort of like a, like a baked potato that you've just turned into a soup. It's so delicious. My God, so hearty. Make sure you try this on a really cold day like this. Cold winter day, you can make the soup and enjoy it. So delicious, so yummy. Let's see, let's put this in the bowl. Serve this with some nice crusty bread. And that's all you need. There it is, look at that. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of this. That's all it needs. All right, guys, go on my website, www.demetriusdishes.com. Get this recipe and more, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.